You guys want to see my snacks? Check out my snacks. Here's the veggie pasta sauce that I made last night. We have lots of tomatoes. You can see them over here. Lots of tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. So I had lots of tomatoes inside the house that needed to be cooked up. So I made veggie pasta sauce. Right? It's got... Uh, all of it is our garden patio and front garden tomatoes. It's got green peppers, potatoes, our own our own uh, parsley, uh, green onions, uh, chives, uh, basil, uh, and a little bit of other herbs in our own garden that I picked. It's got uh, zucchini from a CSA we're getting. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, turmeric, uh, paprika, a little bit of Italian spices, a little bit of salt. Uh, and some other stuff is super good one of the best pasta sauces i've made by the way all i got sorry i put some sour cream in this it's fantastic it's absolutely one and garlic lots of garlic very good very good super delicious got some uh, CSA beets that we cooked up fantastic beets by the way really good beets like organic locally grown beets peel the skin boil it in water the juice you drink it's like sweet beet juice so good so good fantastic and the beets are sweet super delicious here's a cake i made this morning i'm crazy addictive cake cake well, we got sour cream. Sometimes known as sour cream in British in British English is a dairy product obtained by fermenting regular cream with certain kinds of lactic acid bacteria. All the guys like, check out this cake. It's really squishy. I just made it this morning, right? Really squishy, right? The bottom is crazy squishy. And I'm going to show you why. Check that. It's so addictive. So addictive. Crazy. I've already eaten a little bit this morning. Right? Let's see if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. Right? It's, uh, it's got a couple of eggs. I made a big platter worth. It's got a couple of eggs. And this is how thick it is, by the way. A couple of eggs. Um... Uh, gluten flour like organic hard soft flour um about a one cup of sugar not too much sugar because the what i'm about to show you is is, is sweet tart sweet uh, a little bit of um baking soda mm, water oat milk oh that's so good like you can't like amazing oat milk okay mixed up right and check this out now in a platter right so a huge chunk of that is grapes this thing was full to the top right so this much this much went into the cake and it's our grapes from our own vine right that i cooked up because we have a lot of grapes so i need to deal with them right we still have a lot of grapes to eat i might cook up more and i cooked up these grapes like a sort of a like a sauce right i use it for pancakes i've been eating pancakes for the last couple of days right two three days 
and it's I put the pulp of the grape and the juice just like this I took spoonfuls and I put this in and this is like because the grapes were tart I picked them early because the raccoons were getting to them so I needed to get rid of the grapes uh, or harvest them so it's tart and sweet so it's like a compote right and it's, it's crazy delicious But about a third of the weight of the cake, actually more, I guess, is these grapes, you know, which makes it uh, like tart and sweet at the same time. Like I've never made a cake like this before. Uh, we'll do again, right? Take a look. We'll do again. So easy to eat. So easy to eat. I actually don't know what type of grapes. I can show you. You can tell me what, what the names are. It's, uh, they're green. Here. Right. Here's a little bit left. It's these types of grapes. Right. I don't know what they're called. It's super delicious, super delicious. So good, so good. Very addictive. It's a good time in the fall to put on a little weight. 